like when you were first walking in, I said I just want to ask you how things going, but it's probably pretty rough. I mean, just just waiting or um, how's things with mom and dad? Better. Have you guys had a chance to talk or? Yeah, I've been talking to my mom a lot. A lot. Okay. Um, are they doing okay? I mean, I know this is really hard for you, but it, it's hard for them as parents too. Do they seem like they're doing okay? Or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you think, um, do they have a better idea of what's going on now since all that happened? You've had a chance. Um, you know, I'm just kind of curious. I mean, I kind of wonder for them, because I know they were just really hoping to get some answers the other day, and I was like, well, it'll be so much easier, you know, if you talk to Scott or, you know, you guys just talk. And um, So what I will do right now is I'm kind of tell you what we've been doing since I last saw you on Friday. That was Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. So, um, you, you know, we did we took phones and stuff, so we're, we're doing like what I described to you, that analysis of the phones and stuff. But then also, uh, the coroner's office has been working with, with the remains, with her remains to do their part of the investigation. Okay. And um, do you ever watch any shows like that where they show the forensic anthropology stuff? Or, I mean, because a lot of people do now. And, you know, you see the stuff that they can do, and it is, like, unbelievable how, you know, they can they can do that stuff and just examine that stuff. So, and they're, like, medical doctors who've been going to school probably half as long as you've been alive. So they've been doing their part while, <clears throat> while we're doing our part. And so as a result of that, and then us having a lot of conversation with the two doctors primarily that have really been, really been looking at her remains, um, we have some have some more questions, okay? Um, did you tell them to go ahead? I'm sorry. On scene, are they? Did you text them? Oh, sorry. No. Um, in our house? No, we've got another situation going on um, down at the main office, and I just I just like popped in my head before we kind of got started to make sure that he told them um, uh, to go ahead. He's like the only boss here. Do you have the uh, Heimers? Yep. Can you tell them? Yeah. Can you? He's the only boss this week. Skyler, so it becomes uh, trying to make sure that everybody does what they're supposed to do. You know how that works at work, right? You kind of make sure everybody's doing their job even when the boss isn't there. So he's our only boss because the other one's out of town. Um, okay, also they've been, they've been doing their part. And um, we stay in close communication with them while they're doing it. You know, they, they do their investigation. But as a result of information that, that we're getting through the course of talking with them, um, like I said, we've got, we've got some more questions. And for, for lack of a better way, a better way to say it, um, we, we know there's some more that happened than what you shared the other day. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to be honest, I, I don't know how to say it any other way than we know there was more that happened, okay, than what you and I talked about the other day. So having said that, let me go back and kind of just replay, just so we refresh what you and I talked about on Friday. You know, we, we talked about, um, and I'll just try to paraphrase, and you can correct me if I say something that you don't feel like it's what we said Friday, okay? Can you away? I'm sorry? My best is taking me away. Well, wait a second, why would you say that? What? I'm just so scared. Okay. Well, but, but listen, I'm just brief. Just yeah, just try to be calm. We're just trying to find out what happened. This okay. is just like the other day. Remember, I, I kept telling you that I'm just um, I'm like nothing real bad. We're not here for doing anything bad like that or threaten you or her, and nothing like that. We're just trying to find out, you know, the truth for her. Remember, we talked about that, and you yourself was like, I knew she deserved better. I knew she deserved better. Um, oh, so do we. Remember, so do we. I talked to you. I I know. You are a scared 18-year-old girl that until Friday, you carried this on your own, you know, and we, we know that. And, you know, I mean, we, we talked a long time Friday, okay, and it never turned nasty or anything like that. It's not it's not going to today, okay? Um, but, you know, we talked about how May 7th, and you were really certain May 7th is the day, right, that you delivered her, and it was in the bathroom, Sometime, maybe sometime in the middle of the night, because your parents were home and asleep, um, you delivered her in the bathroom. Um, she wasn't breathing or anything. Her eyes didn't open. There was no heartbeat, and you checked. You pushed. You didn't want to push too hard because she was a brand new baby, but you pushed just to check, and there was no heartbeat. 
uh, you held her for a little bit there, like on your lap, and then you wrapped her in a towel, and you went downstairs with her into the garage, got, maybe it's called like your, I'm just going to call it like your mom's garden shovel or something like that, and took her out and put her in that shallow grave right out in the backyard, and you didn't put the towel in there, you just put her in there and covered her up. Okay, is that, um, does that sound right, like what we talked about Friday? Okay. Um, well, now where we are, um, obviously, you know, we were, we were there a long time that day and everything, digging up her remains and everything, but now after speaking with the doctors, who have been doing this, you know, they've been they've been working a lot of hours just with with her remains, you know, just tiny bone by tiny bone and everything. Um, and they have a lot of evidence that they have presented to us where they know now from a medically scientific certainty, they know there were other things that happened. So I want to know if um, if you want to tell us you know, more of the truth about what happened um, because we know there was a lot more. We just want to put her to rest. We want her, you know, and here's the thing, listen to me. I know that this is a terrible situation, okay? Just listen to me, okay? You were not the only 18-year-old girl who's been in this situation, that it was too late to have an abortion, and your entire life is about to be fucked, okay? So just breathe. But the important thing that matters is not me, not you, not him. What matters is her, okay? I think that you want to give her a proper burial and you want to give her a proper final resting situation, but in order to do that, we need to know everything, okay? You cannot go back and change anything that you did, but we can have it out there and we can just say it, okay? If you need to close your eyes to say it, if you need to whatever, but it's very important that you tell us everything that happened because the doctors already know, okay? They've already shared with us what happened. Um, now there's things we don't know, like why or kind of what you were thinking, or you know what would what would push someone to feel like this was the only option, you know, that they. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, what happened when you decided that you were before you buried her? Okay. So all of those things we need to know. Okay. They're going to be able to tell us medically what happened. So it's really important because I want to know why. I want to know, you know, did you feel like that was your only option? Did you feel like you had no choice? You know, so those are some things that we know, okay? Um, we obviously know she was buried because we, we found her. Um, and then there's things that they can tell from the tissue and stuff that's left, okay? So we know that some more things happened. I think I think, I think think you were trying to, to I, I don't know, maybe minimize what was there, make it easier, I don't know, but there were some other things that happened before she was put in the ground. So let's talk about that, okay? The cord might have been wrapped around her neck a little. Okay. When she came out or after? Yeah. Okay. So did you see it wrapped around the neck? A little bit. Okay. Like, a little. Yeah, okay. So like it's around her neck. And what color was she when she came out? Really white, I think. Well, they're all white because they have sticky, goopy stuff on them. What about like um, like her fingers or whatever? Were they pink? Were they red? Were they... <laughs> Where was the cord? Like was it here? Was it on the side? Was it wrapped all the way around her? Maybe just a little around her. Okay. And what did you do? You tried to get off but couldn't? Just a little, yes. Okay, just wouldn't come off? Okay. Is it possible that she maybe breathed a little bit? Like maybe, you know, before? Maybe. Okay. Okay. So you tried to get the cord off and couldn't? So was there a time? Because I've had a baby. He has not, but I have. So there's not just a baby that comes out. There's a whole lot of other crap that comes out. So is it possible that, because you were on the toilet when you had her? Okay. Yeah. Is it possible that she went down in the toilet for a second? Yeah. Okay. I tried to catch her, but I couldn't. There's no way you can. She's too slippery. You can't catch her. I was just under the bed a little. Okay. Okay. So were you sitting on the toilet? Were you squatting over it? Or? I was sitting on the toilet. Okay. So she falls in, and are you, like, in shock? Like, I mean, I would be in shock if they just came out of the toilet. So how long do you think she was in the water? Five minutes, two minutes? Okay. Um, was she moving at all? Like a little kiss or anything? Well, it's probably hard to look at. So when did you did you notice the cord was on around her neck after you saw her in the toilet or before? Everything just came out at once, maybe just a little. So it's 
Was she on I'm sorry, was she, was she, no, I guess she was probably head first into the toilet because she both came out. So I, I, like, how did it, how did she look as you looked down in the toilet and, and saw her? I mean, did you, I'm assuming there's water, probably the normal amount of water in a toilet. So do you know what was her head part under the water? On, I don't think so. Okay. How did she look as you looked down into the toilet? Did you, maybe did you not look at her? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Were there like bubbles or anything? Sometimes there's like bubbles. Like, did you remember seeing any of what was in her face? And was her face in the water or like to the side or was it not? If you remember. Okay. But she was head first. When you said maybe she hit her head, did you hear something that maybe made you think well, that? Well, she just plunked out. Yeah, they come out pretty fast, especially when you were young. So do you think she plunked in her head? Okay. Um, I mean, I wanted to catch her. You can't. They're too slippery. Even like I don't know how doctors do. Doctors they have, have, hard yeah. have the hardest time too. Even yeah. doctors are they're waiting. They still have the hardest they're time. They're covered in that goo. Okay. So maybe she was breathing. Um, she slept in the toilet for a couple minutes. And if I say something wrong, correct me. Don't. Um, and then did you like walk away? Did you kind of stay in the bathroom and think, what am I going to do now? What'd you do? Oh a lot of blood. What about the placenta? A big, like, it looks like a big thing of meat. What did you do with that? A little after. Okay, and what did you do with that? I did it with her. Okay. Um, okay. Did the placenta go in the toilet, like, on top of her, or? Um, a little after she was out. Okay, so you see she's in the toilet for a couple minutes. What do you do after she's in the toilet for a couple minutes? What do you do with her? I put her in the Do you, do you feel like she was breathing when you were holding her and you held her too tight? Okay. When you, um, so can you describe for me, like, taking her out of the toilet? Like, how did you take her out? Could you put her in the towel? How did you take her out of the... Mm -hmm. I feel your hands like you, Mim, did you... I mean, are, are you being careful because it's... It's a baby, or do you remember like where you left her? Did you try to get like her her neck? You know, I'll, I'll just picture her at first, and are you trying to reach in? Or? I'm trying to be careful with the Okay, and and again, we're 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 just trying to because we we weren't there. We're just trying to picture, you know, exactly. I just wanted to be rest. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I will, you know, you, you know, nobody really fully, I think, rests in peace unless you know you know exactly what happened. And if you watch any of those shows like I do, you see people like 20 years later. Family members are trying to find out what happens so that they can they can be at rest and still so can their family member that died. So that's all we're trying to do: find out what happened so that we can put the medical stuff with you know what happened. And that's only going to come from you, Tyler. Nobody else was there. You were all alone. I mean, I know your parents were in the next room, but you were all alone. It was just you and her. So you're the only one that can tell us that she can. Okay. So you need to do the right thing right now and just tell us everything that happened, even if it sucks to say it. Just tell us everything that happened and we can move on. Okay. You know, and Brandy and I, we, we talked to so many people that after the fact, you know, they're like that feeling once they finally tell the truth and then get it out. Because I bet it has probably bothered you some because I can tell that you care. Yeah. It bothered you some since Friday, since we talked, you know, since I you knew I didn't get the truth. and. Um, you still had to carry that, you know, carry that weight with you. So like like Brandy said, um, let's start there. So now you have picked her out from the toilet and you wrapped her in a towel and, and held her easily. And um, and just be truthful now. Let's go from there and, and go with the rest. Listen, you said, you, said, you said something really interesting. You said, I think maybe I held her too tight. Tell me what that means. I, I didn't think she was breathing. I didn't think she was too hard. Okay. But it was I know. It's okay. It's okay. You can't. It's okay. You were trying. I think that was a killer. Okay. Okay. You that yeah, I think you killed her. <laughs> I think I killed her on purpose. I, I, no one said it. Skyler, no one believes that. Just squeeze her. Skyler. I loved her. No one believes that you would do anything to her on purpose. No one believes that. Okay. I'm going to go to the hospital. Wait. Sweetheart, we are just... Those are not questions still, we can answer yeah, for you right we're now. We're in the same. We're in the same place. We just are still. Um, you know, you're talking about a lot of the different stuff that the doc. So we're just still. We're just still trying to do right by her. We're so focused, like Brandy said, it's not me or you or. Uh -huh. Or or. Did you know Brandy, her name? It's important. What's her name? Uh, 
Annabelle, okay, so Annabelle. stop calling her her. Annabelle? Okay. All right, so it's about Annabelle, okay? You can't change, you can't go back and change anything. I don't have a magic wand, okay? I am so sorry. No, just, let's just keep talking about what happened and then it'll all be out and we'll be done, okay? I go over my head? That, I can't answer that for you right now, okay? Well, I don't know what'll happen. I haven't finished talking to you, okay? All right, so you, you think you squeezed her too hard, so she, and I, I feel like when you say that, maybe you thought she was breathing before and you didn't mean to. I don't think you meant to, but you squeezed her too hard. Okay. How long do you think you were squeezing her? Just a little bit. Okay. A little bit. What makes you think you squeezed her too hard? Like, what makes you think that? Looking back now. Not then, but looking back now. Because I did so hard. I did, like, not so hard, but just, like, I just wanted to go. Okay. You think that's when, when she died? Do you think maybe she could have been in the toilet, or? Yeah, maybe, because her spotting yeah. in April, okay. early April, the spotting. Okay. okay. But you, you don't have any health issues, right? You're pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're 18, so, okay. So, did she look pretty healthy? I mean, you've probably seen babies before. She looked pretty healthy. She's kind of big. Yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's pretty healthy. I think that uh, that's a good thing when babies look bigger than you expect them to. You're not a smoker, right? No. Okay, that's good. Because she was tiny, that would have made you smoke. Mm -hmm. So she's, you think maybe that's when it happens, and then, so you're squeezing her, and then do you do you realize that that's when she's, like, not alive, or when no, do you think? I just think she's alive. Okay, okay. So what'd you do after you were squeezing her, and then what'd you do? Mm -hmm. Before that, tell me about the fire. The fire. Well, there's some evidence to show that there was some some burning on her. Just burn her? I promise on anything I didn't burn her. My dad has lots of bonfires, but I didn't burn her. There's some some charring and stuff on some other bones, so. I didn't burn her. Are you sure? I swear on anything. Are you I, sure? That, that, that I'm sure. That I should. I'm sure of. You didn't like, was there, did you like, did you burn anything around her? Did you try to like, like maybe like melt the dirt or anything? No. Was there any reason no. for any of that? No. Was there, um, was there any, I know you said the other day there was no one else that knew her involved or anything, but was there anyone else? I mean, now that you're telling us more truth, you're telling us a lot more truth today. Is there someone else that, that knew this or helped you this day or anything? No, and I did nothing with fire. Nothing. Okay. Is, is it possible originally you put her in the fire pit before you? No. I don't mean with a lit fire, but you put her in the fire pit. No. What about, okay, maybe not, maybe not fire, like what about like some other heat source? Was there any heat involved in anything? And this would have been after she was dead, so it's not like. No. No, no microwaves, no oven, no, no. nothing. Like just, no. there's, there's basically her bones have, not all of them, but some of them have some charring, which means that there was some burning. That's what we're trying to figure out. Yeah. And if there's nobody else involved, and there's no one else that knew about this, and you were all alone, unfortunately. Um, well, that's, that's what we're trying to figure out. I think there's an explanation for what happened with the something. I think there's some sort of way that we can figure out what happened with something, um, because, you know, that doesn't just happen, you know, that your bones get like that. So, and, and it, from all accounts, she looks like a pretty healthy, normal baby from what you're saying. So I don't think, there's just no way it would just happen. So I, I, I was thinking maybe you were just trying to kind of get rid of something or, I, I, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, you buried her. It's not like you just threw her in the trash. So that's, that's good. No, I, anything that you can think of, like, anything at all. Yeah. Because, again, you were in shock, I'm sure. It was a terrible, terrible night. You were all alone. Just think about if there was anything that could explain that. Because that's, I mean, that's the medical fact. I'm not just telling you that. I'm not, you know, just, just making it up. I mean, something happened with some fire or, or some heat source. So we have to think about maybe you were out of your mind. I don't know. Something happened. But there was something with a fire. It, it's kind of where we're not... <clears throat> You're so close, and all we all we want is just the truth. And the reason that Brandy's asking that question, and the only reason, is because there is forensic medical evidence where they have been through. There are some bones, like she said, not all of them, but there's some different vertebrae and some, some ribs and stuff that is um, that is charred. That and then there was some fatty tissue that is just has burned on one side and not the other. So the doctors know 
that there was there was fire of some sort or some kind of burning. Um, they they know for certain, and no matter what you tell us, we're never going to like all of a sudden judge you or jump off and say you're going to. We're not doing any of that, but there's. There's still a lot more that we don't know that we just want. You're so close. Just give us all the truth that's left. And I have given you all the truth I told you about sweet and I think that it might have come up but that I really, I'm... I think it's not it's not on our it's not on our face it's not on our upper body it's all like lower body mm -hmm. so I, I wonder if maybe it just was one of those things where you just thought well maybe I can do this and because I think like a cremation like I'm gonna I'm gonna have some ashes that I can keep of my daughter and keep those and then you realize it wasn't a good idea because you're a good person that's what I think happened because there there is some charm but it's not all of the bones and I think. I think you decided, okay, this isn't a good idea. This isn't this isn't what I want to do. This is what I want for my daughter. Sure. And about and then, better, started, and then you yeah. just took her. And That's what I think happened and because her. Her, her entire body's not burned. It's not like it's some horrific thing. Yeah. There, there was some sort of fire or some sort of heat or something. And like I said, I don't think that you just threw her in a fire. That's not what no. I'm saying. I don't believe that you would do that. I think there was some sort of of attempt and then you were like, oh gosh, this is this isn't what I want for my daughter and then it stopped. I had this point I'll tell you. I just gotta know why there was you know, <laughs> fire. The towel is black. No, um, this is actual like like the, the bone doctor basically has said that there's charring on the bones, yeah. Did you maybe put them like after she was in the ground, like maybe some fire there or uh, I took flowers from the fire pit. But that wouldn't burn the bones yeah. unless they were on fire. Not that. We just, you're, you're, you're so close, Skyler, you know, just. We know, I mean, we know there was yeah. some sort of fire. I know it's. And I understand it. You know, and I, I know the other day you're like, I just wanted to do right by her. I wanted to do right by her. Well, we have a friend. We, um, you know, we have these bracelets on the say 822. He was one of our best friends who was killed. And, you know, he was cremated because that is a very acceptable, and that's what I, when I first heard this, I wondered, well, maybe she was going to try to cremate her because that's, you know, that's very acceptable, that's normal, it's, it's in the Bible, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, and you were cremated to get back to ashes, to get back to the original form we were created from. Keep so, it with you. And I know it was, Annabelle was important to you, so you wanted to do it right, but then maybe it, like, maybe it didn't do it right, so you're like, I can't do this, and then you... That would make sense why just part of it was in one side, so you, you take her back and then you take her back where you can give her a more standard burial with flowers. But, but Scott, we, we just, we, we need you because the, the evidence tells us what the truth is, but you're the only one that can take us through it, you know, and, and give us the why. The evidence tells us what happened, but we don't know what is the why, and you're the only one that can provide that. Because even though it was hard, we both know, Brandy already, I can tell knows from spending a little bit of time with you. I've talked to you two times now that you, were in, in the end, you're just trying to do the right thing by Annabelle because I can tell you immediately loved her, so you're trying to do the right thing. But now the way to finish the right thing is just help us get us all the way to the truth. Let, let it go. You know, let this off of your shoulders. We, have, we know what happened, so please just share the truth with us and help us understand it just... Okay. And we know it wasn't this horrifically weird, you know, thing that you might have seen on some lifetime movie that you guys like to watch, but this is this is a thing where I truly believe that there was an attempt maybe for cremation because if you cremate someone, you know they have ashes. I have my mom's ashes, you know, I like to keep them close to me. It's very important to me to have those. It makes me feel like she's still here kind of. So, you know, I know she you put her in the backyard so she would be close to you, but you know, ashes you can carry around. So that's kind of my, where my thinking is, but we already know that there was some sort of heat fire element. I, I don't know what happened, I wasn't there, but I know there was because the bones were charred, and it wasn't something that, you know, someone else could have done because no one else knew she was there except you. And you've had to carry this all by yourself this whole time and do, do it all yourself with no help. So, you know, don't think that we're going to judge you. Don't think that we're going to think you're some horrible person. You know, I think I know where your heart and mind were you know, with the fire or whatever it was. I think I know where your heart and mind were, but you have to tell us because I can't assume that I know you that well. But there, you know, the evidence is, is there. There's no other explanation, you know, it's not some self-combustion that doesn't really happen except on Mythbusters. So we just need to know what happened 
again, so we can put her at rest, we can give her that final, we know everything that happened, we know, you know, in what order it happened, and we can just put her at rest, you know, give her a proper memorial, you guys can do all of this sort of thing. I get to. Well, I would assume your family is going to want to plan something when they get her back, but we can't release her until we know everything. So we have to kind of, this is the last mystery to solve is, is these charred bones to know exactly what happened. I mean, I think I know, but I don't know everything. So I, we need you to tell us you were there. You know, it's not its not a judgment, Skylar. It's not anybody looking at you. It's, it's literally you and Annabelle, and you're trying to do the right thing and fix whatever you can fix at that point in time. So no one's judging whatever you chose to do then. Okay, we just need to know what happened with the fire. You gotta tell me. I don't I don't want the words in your mouth, Skylar. I don't want you to you know, I want you I think I know based on what I know of you so far, but I want you to tell me everything that happened and everything that was going through your mind so that I can understand. You know? I wanna hear it from you. So, so you're holding her, squeezing her, what happens right after that? Okay, just kind of walk me through, like, everything. So you're holding her, you squeeze her, and then what are you, what are you thinking? Just kind of, like, just close your eyes, put yourself back there, and just walk me through it like I was there. I want to feel like I was there with you to, to know what happened. Mm-hmm. 
the flames down? Or? Yeah, just did all the grief. So. Okay, and just try to do it quickly. Like you, you change your mind, you said it felt wrong, so you, you try to change your mind. And okay, which which we understand, and I can see that being a, a natural reaction. Um, you didn't feel like it was right for. Was it? Were you successful? I mean, once you were doing that, were you able to put the fire out? Or did you have to do? Did you have to go get water or anything to help you? Because a lot of times it's hard to get the fire out even with just dirt. Terry, able to get it out before it restarted. Maybe. How long? Let me just ask you this, because I know cremation takes a while. How long do you think? Um, once you kind of started the fire, how long do you think that it went on before you put it out? Like 10, 20, 30 minutes? I know you're out there in the dark and probably still in shock a little bit and all of that, but. And not exactly, even you won't know exactly. I'm just a minute, two minutes, 45 seconds, three minutes, just. 30 minutes. <laughs> So at some point, let, let me ask you this, what made you, I know you said you thought it was wrong, what made you, okay, i got to put this out, was it Was it some other thought, like, uh, was it as it was getting closer to her face, or was it just, you know, the smell, or was, was there another thing that just kind of made you realize I shouldn't do this? Mm -hmm. You just felt like it was wrong. Mm -hmm. What about, um... What about were you not concerned? I mean, just because like, it's a beautiful place where you live, and, and I know it's kind of big, but it's open. What about someone seeing it? Were you worried about someone seeing a fire back there at that time of the night? And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that what I thinking about? Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, and I understand why so I asked that, because that, that would be understandable if that was if that was true, you know, because that's obviously, that's why it's early, if it was dark, that's going to draw attention. and going to make you worry about, about someone coming out, and, um, which if you feel like you're maybe doing something wrong, you know, you're not going to want someone to walk out, and um, so you're able, you're able to get all the flames out, right, where you were able to do that, okay, and just by, are, are you sure you didn't use anything, any water or anything, or you just got them out by using dirt, okay, using the dirt. Um, what do you do next? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Put the pot kind of on top of that. Mm -hmm. Which is a pot that was there that yeah. when we went out. Then what do you do for yourself? Like, what do you, I mean, at this point you've been through a lot, so what do you do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that where you put it in the trash can thing outside? Okay. And you said you buried the placenta too, right? Was, did you put that in? What order did you put that in versus her? After. Was it after the fire or with the fire? Just so I could kind of have an idea if that was in there or not. That's kind of a weird thing to carry around. Like, it's an odd, it's an odd matter. Or was it, let me ask you this, was it still attached? Like, did you cut the cord? The cord came out. I didn't cut anything. Okay. You didn't cut the cord from her? No. Because the cord's attached, was it still attached to the placenta? Uh, remember? No. Okay. I don't remember. I might have put it first. Okay. Usually the cord is attached to the baby and then it's attached to the placenta, which is inside of you, but it comes out after birth. So usually it's still attached, so like when, when babies are born, they cut the cord, you know, so that the baby can be separate from the placenta. Did you ever cut it? Mm -hmm. So it still would have been attached then to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think it was attached to her. Okay. Okay. So you maybe put the placenta in before, but you're not sure. Okay. So that may have burned as well. So let me just just ask you this really important question, okay? Because it's really important. I mean, you've already you've already told us most of it, okay? Just listen to me. At what point 
but I feel like, you know, you're a mom now, and you've had a kid, and she didn't make it, but you've had a kid. So you have that kind of intuition. At what point do you feel like she stopped breathing? Was it in the toilet? When you were yeah. squeezing her? I didn't think she was breathing when she came out. Okay, what made you think that? Do you see like her little chest rise even once? Okay. Did you like did her little toes move or anything? Her fingers? Okay. Um, did you did you hear anything? Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go ahead and stand and uh, stretch out a little bit, I think because of the timing of the interview, what I'm going to do is we're going to go probably about another 20 minutes and take our uh, break. So you can stretch out for a minute, Council, if you could approach, please. You may be seated. <coughs> Mr. Knipp and Ms. Kraft, you may continue. Okay, we rewind it just 10 seconds just so that we get the whole. That's fine. Okay. Do we have that ability? I think so. It should be a 15 second. Okay. Did you like your little toes move or anything? I don't know if 
if you heard her cry. I don't know if she whimpered, but there's something that you're holding back for whatever reason, and you're so close, and it, it's kind of like the fire because it's so hard to say. We don't think, and I think I can speak for both of us, I don't think you killed her, um, but I, I think you had signs that she was, wasn't alive at least just a little bit, you know, but I don't think you killed her. But I believe that based on everything and talking to you, and, and I, I just believe that there are signs that she was alive um, at first. And then I don't think you tried to kill her, but I think there were signs that she was, and I want you to please for her, just tell me what, tell us what those were. How did you know at first, you know, that she was probably alive just a little bit? Maybe I thought I saw her chest, I was cleaning up, and I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I saw her chest, 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 I don't know if I saw Share, just share the truth with us. Skyler, you're, you're, so, you're so close, and you were so sincere when you were worried that you did something accidental. We both know, we all three know, you didn't do anything on purpose, but I, I know you were so sincere. Like, one thing, Skyler, I mean, we, we talked to so many people, and if you could see yourself from across here, there are certain things when you do. Like, when you got to that part, just your facial expression was so that you were so sincere, like you truly felt awful, like you did something, but you knew you didn't do it on purpose, so those feelings were genuine. But what that also tells me for 100% sure, I know that somehow you know she was alive like before that, and that's why you're worried you didn't do something that could have helped. Why well, did she let me noise? What, what kind of noise? Maybe a little noise, a girl, but I didn't know if it was something else. Or like, uh -huh. And then you hear another one. And then another one? Okay, which is, which is natural because that's what, I mean, again, I'm not a mom, but I've been in the delivery room for, for four of them, and there's there's like kind of a, a gurgle sound, and the doctors will suction out, yeah. you know, that stuff. Uh, here again. Okay. Okay. Was that like when she was in the toilet, or was that when you were sleeping? Yeah. I think that was when she was in the toilet. Okay. You heard like one gurgle, and then not, not another sound. Mm -hmm. I thought she said that you thought you heard maybe one more gurgle. No, I said I didn't hear. Oh, you didn't hear. Just, just the one. Okay. What else? Um. What else made you think that at first she was alive? Besides the gurgle sound, um, tell us about. Because one thing babies will do is I know. Um, even as they're getting ready to do that suction, like the second when they first come out, you know, they're like their arms, sometimes they're kind of like this, or they'll, they don't know what I'm going to move, but I didn't look right away. I was like, in shock. I don't like I understand. Yeah, a baby just fell out of you. I mean, but that would, that would be shocking. shocking. You're doing this by yourself in, in your bathroom, your, your parents are home. Uh, but when you did, when you did finally look, um, what else were you able to see or hear? Did you see an arm, either arm move or both arms move at some point when you did look? It, it's okay. We're just trying to get, I, I'm just trying to know, I want to be able to tell the doctor what all signs you saw, how you know the baby was alive just a little bit, that Annabelle was alive a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to help that. I saw her arm maybe a little bit. Was that also when she was in the toilet or was that Yeah, I think. What about legs? Because I guess they would have been the closest part. Maybe, but maybe she was squished up. Oh, okay. And, um, and when you say maybe, what does that mean? Because we're, we're not trying to put words in, in your mouth, Skylar, at all. I just... I know that you made it clear that, that she was alive at first. I'm I mean, just, you know what happened. I mean, you know, just, you just have to say See, it. it's okay. Like I told you, nothing changes. <laughs> Every time you tell us the truth, nothing is changing, you know? Yeah, I just don't want to be ready for it to be over. I, 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 I'm not going to jail. Dear, I know you are so, you are so ready. And what's, what's doing is you're finally getting, think about all the truth you've told today compared to where we were last Friday. Okay. Think about how proud Annabelle would be to have you as a mom for being honest about what happened. It's okay. What is that? Do you think that leaving her in the toilet
toilet is what, what stops your breathing. Because I know before you said you thought it was when you squeezed her, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just Or when you pulled, when you, when you got her out of the toilet. I, I guess the way we'll know that, Scott, when you got her out of the toilet, did you still have more signs? And that's, so then that's what made you think the squeezing did it, or... Well, no, I didn't think I saw a heartbeat. Right, and I can understand that. And it's a, it's like a kind of a shallow, but ra I mean, a, a brand new baby's heartbeat is kind of, kind of different. And they're so tiny, you're not gonna feel her wrist or anything. But, um, but when you, I would think, especially when you, when you did get her out of the toilet, you know, you got her more upright, and there was no water and everything. That then, especially you, you may or may not get a gurgle sound. I, I would think you would probably have some movement then or feel her like squirm a little bit as you as you hold her. If she was still alive then. That's what yeah. We're just trying to figure out was it, you know, her in the toilet, that's when it happened or, because I know you, you said you heard the gurgle in the toilet and then you didn't hear any more. No, I don't think, no. Unless I didn't hear the big cow. I'm holding her. At what point, because there's always that defining moment, at what moment did you know that she was gone? Because you can just, I mean, people kind of turn different colors and it's, you can tell. Okay, you just didn't look at her. Okay. That's a very honest answer, Skyler. Very, did you, did you look at her, like, did you ever look in her face or just, was that something you were trying to avoid? Do you, um, can you remember, do you know if she had any hair? She did, okay. I because some you know, some babies have a lot, some just some fun, and some have none and so you think she do you think that she did? Okay. What color was it? Just dark. Okay. It's okay. Spring. I don't know if they're still here, if they ran to get something extra drink or not. Um, I think they were just going away. I think they were. Like Speedy Freeze or something. They were going to get drink Speedy Freeze. Um, in her face, could you could you tell, like, in, in her face, did she look like you? Do you? I mean, did she? Sometimes it's hard to tell with babies because they kind of just look like themselves. But then, did you feel like she looked like you when you, when you saw her face? Or like one of your parents or anything like, like that. Or. So probably, you, well not probably, what I'm hearing you say, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is there was no movement or signs of life after the toilet that you remember. Well, you're not a doctor. I don't expect you to be able to, you know. Yeah. I just wanted to be clear about, you know, at what point you thought she was gone. That's all. I just wanted to kind of know for her. Let's, let's ask it this way, Skyler. How long, and, and again, I, I don't expect you to know exactly, but how long do you think that she was alive? Like, just your, your closest guess. I mean, I know you're not sure how long she was in the toilet, but how long would be your closest guess how long she was alive? It's a lot. It's a lot to do with a team of doctors around you, let alone by yourself, so I get it. Just try to think so that we have an idea of how long she was alive. And I know you said earlier you thought maybe, and we're not holding you to it, Sarah, but maybe she was in the toilet a couple minutes while you were kind of freaking out. Okay, that's alright. Okay. Just breathe. You gotta keep breathing. Yeah, deep breath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, we're just. Do you want some water now? Do you want some water or something to This is where this is where we're at. This is the last thing, Scott. What I when I say this we're at this point is the last part because it's. Um, we're just trying to figure out now. This is a lot like how long she was alive. You know, we know that. You had some indications that she was, and um, we also believe that, that you did not do it. You know, and I don't know. If, I mean, babies are 
are born and unfortunately die shortly after they're born. It happens literally every day. And I hate saying that, but that literally happens every every single day. And um, I'm just trying to just trying to get a close idea. Is it? Do we think it was two minutes? Do we think it was five minutes? Do we think it was ten minutes? Um, you know, and it it doesn't it doesn't change things if it was five minutes or ten minutes or twenty minutes or thirty minutes. Five minutes that she was a lion or five minutes that she was in this room? Maybe she's a lion. Okay. Did, um, was she ever, was she ever loud enough that you were worried maybe somebody might hear? No. She wasn't loud enough to, you don't think she was or? Because, I mean, I know in the house you're upstairs, you're in the bathroom, and it could, you know, the rooms are, the rooms are kind of close. Um, did she cry? Because I, I, if she was, if she was alive that long, and she, and I, would, I would definitely expect she would cry at least a little bit. I wasn't there, but it would be, it would be very natural if, if she would cry. Um, and I think you would... You would know that because moms, you know, they're more sensitive to their babies crying than, than anyone, you know. And this is this is Annabelle, and you're you're her mom. And I just um, did you hear her cry? Maybe a little bit. I didn't know if I was right. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, yeah. You didn't kill her, and now we're just trying to get the truth so we can bring her home, okay? And we've told you so much that we're not trying to be mean to you or judge you. We're not. We're, and we won't. No matter what you say, it's not going to happen. No matter. We have both been doing this for so long. We're both parents of kids older than you. We're neither one going to all of a sudden become something different. So, no matter what you say, but, you know, we... We love children, even children we've never met, you know, so we're just in the same situation, I think, where your parents are, and I can tell now, Brian, that you are mm -hmm. just wanting to get all the truth out for Annabelle. You know, because like you said, Brian, she, she deserves it more than anything. She deserves it more than anything. Um, when you, is that what made you worry about the squeezing, I would assume, was the crying that you heard, was that before you squeezed? Mm -hmm. you, um, did, did you hear any crying after? Or did you hear any? A little crying. A little crying? Maybe just a little crying. Okay. Was that in the toilet or outside? In the toilet. Okay. Oh, okay. You've been pretty consistent about the fact that the only noise you really heard was when she was in the toilet, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And the only movement you saw was when she was in the toilet. I don't think that you, I don't think she's straight from that. I know you were worried about squeezing her and holding her, but the only noise you heard her make was in the toilet. Is that right? Okay. Is there anything else that we need to know or that we need to know about Annabelle or that Annabelle needs to know from you? You're her mom, so anything else that you feel like you need to say or feel like you need to, to bring forth for Annabelle? I'm not going to judge you, obviously. You feel like you told us. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. 